Unless you hate money, content is an essential part of building any business in 2024. As someone who's built their business to over 50K per month online and made over $200,000 so far this year, all from organic content, I can tell you that an effective content strategy is far simpler than people make it out to be. If you get it right, you can create a customer generating machine without creating content for hours every day or posting on 10 different platforms. Whether you wanna attract your first customers, scale your existing business, or start selling digital products this is the five step framework that i've used to do all of this so let's get straight into it step one create on one platform you're told that you need to be everywhere to be seen it's just not true you want to keep it simple yes a lot of the best creators out there have mastered their repurposing game taking one piece of content and turning it into 10 across multiple different platforms but before you get to this there are three stages of content creation that you have to go through in this exact order First up is quantity. This is when you're learning how to get attention, how to get good at making content. And so the goal here is to put as much content out there as possible because this is how you improve faster. Then once you've started to master that, you move into quality. You'll know when you've reached this stage because you'll be able to look at a piece of content and know that it's gonna do well and then it does. And so once the majority of your content falls into this category, then you can move into quality and quantity where you can take one piece of content and repost and remix it across platforms and at this point the creators doing this successfully usually have a small team behind them so the last thing you want to do is look at yourself now and compare yourself to them if you do this too soon and try and spread your efforts across multiple different platforms you'll just burn out and won't see any success on any platform but the good news is that you can start converting your audience into paying customers even if you're still in this first stage you don't have to wait until you're a huge creator making five-star content to start making money. So which platform should you choose? You wanna start with a content style that has the lowest barrier for entry to get started. And so if you like writing, this is probably gonna be LinkedIn. And if you prefer video, then this is probably gonna be TikTok. You can also start on Instagram or even YouTube. It really doesn't matter too much, but the best platform is gonna be the one with a content style that suits your unique skills and personality because you're gonna to have to stick with it consistently to see results. So you have to somewhat enjoy the content you're creating and you need it to play to your strengths. I just want you to be really honest with yourself. I see a lot of comments from people saying, but I'm an introvert, so I'll never have a successful business because I don't wanna show my face. Is that because you're an introvert or are you just not confident yet? Because I'm an introvert and when I started creating content, I was not at all confident. I couldn't watch my own videos. I was uncomfortable seeing myself and hearing the sound of my own voice. But learning to create content and building that confidence has been one of the best things I have ever done for both my personal development and the growth of my business. And now I genuinely love it. So if you really don't wanna be on video, you don't have to do it. You can create an audience through writing or even creating faceless video content. But just be honest with yourself about if you really just don't enjoy it or you're playing it safe because being able to get on video and communicate your ideas is one of the most powerful ways of connecting with people. You'll build a stronger connection with your audience and I promise you it will supercharge your business growth. So next step, create on one platform for one person. Instead of picking a niche, you wanna pick a person. If you pick a niche, let's say web design and just start posting random tips, you're gonna run into the same problem as this this guy in my comments. I make mostly how-to content and feel like it's attracting other web designers other than my ideal clients. When you just pick a niche like this and just start making another version of the same how-to content that everyone else is making without thinking about the person who is watching your content, it's not gonna get you very far in terms of actually attracting paying customers. But if you're making very focused content that only talks to the specific person that you're trying to attract, then you'll be surprised at how quickly your ideal customers start coming to you. Let me give you an example. So when I first started as a web designer, my ideal client was two to three years into their business. Most of these clients already had a website that they had built themselves and was just doing okay, but they were struggling to effectively communicate their offer and attract the right type of clients. If I was just making how to build a website content with generic web design tips, I would only be attracting other web designers or these business owners at the beginning stages of their journey when they're trying to DIY their own website because they don't have the money to invest in a web designer just yet. And so the content that I needed to be creating needed to keep my 
specific client in mind and talking directly to them and the problems that they're facing. The goal of my content was to show them that missing piece that I could help them with. What they were missing from their website that was stopping them attracting those higher budget clients or making sales. So I focused a lot on sales psychology and the copywriting aspect that most of these people were missing and also doing website audits that pointed out what people could do to increase conversions and attract the right type of customers. What happens when you get more specific like this is maybe you get less views. These aren't viral topics that are gonna blow up your account because they don't appeal to as many people, but instead your content is gonna act like a magnet to the person who is interested in this topic, your ideal client. And so it's gonna be much more effective in searching out these people who are actually gonna to want to work with you so that you're not just throwing out content and crossing your fingers that these people are gonna find you. So when you're creating content, you wanna pick a specific person. Where are they now and where do they want to be? You wanna obsess over their struggles, their insecurities, their goals and ambitions, and then sit down and imagine that this person is your friend, sat in front of you and give them everything you know that's gonna help them get to where they wanna be. Don't hold anything back. Be as honest and as upfront as you would with your best friend. You're rooting for this person. You really want them to succeed. This is the type of energy that we're looking for in your content because the person on the other end seeing this is gonna feel that. We're at the stage where there is so much content out there Everyone is just churning out the same copy paste content, going to ChatGPT, asking them to spit out a list of content ideas and then putting some text over a seven second video and thinking that's all they need to do. This is why it's so difficult to build trust with your audience now. If you approach your content with the same bare minimum energy, then you're gonna see bare minimum results. To stand out and really connect with people in a sea of content creators, you need to make content with some real depth to it. You want people to be able to take your content and really apply this to see results. This is how you build trust and authority that you are the expert and you know what you're talking about and you know how to help them. Now this right here is the final barrier that a lot of you need to overcome. How do you go about sharing your expertise if you haven't had many clients or experience? For me, I feel like an imposter to speak on something that I don't have proof or experience about. So let me tell you how I overcame this imposter syndrome. As someone who is inherently shy and very introverted, whenever I don't feel confident about something, the best way I know how to overcome this is to be overprepared. Do all the research, learn everything I possibly can and become an expert in this topic. If you wanna be seen as an expert, you literally have to become one, there's no faking it. And the quickest way of learning, the quickest way to become an expert in something is to teach it to other people. According to research, if you want to retain 90% of what you learn, the best way to do this is to teach or explain it to someone else. So you have to become obsessed, learn everything you possibly can that's going to help your audience and then teach it to them in your content as you learn. You don't have to put up a front and pretend to have all these client results and put fake screenshots of you making all this money that you don't have. Just be about your audience. Share with them everything you know that's gonna help them get where you want to be and the experience and the client results will come. So step three, create on one platform for one person about one problem. You're giving away everything you know for free in your content, all the knowledge that's gonna help them. And then to monetize this, you are gonna sell the implementation. Your product or your service is like the fast track to the results that this person is looking for. The mistake that most people make when they're worried about getting clients is creating too many offers. You think it must be easier to attract people if you give them more options, more services that you can offer, and more things that you can sell to them. But this is a huge mistake. Confused people don't buy anything. People need complete clarity on what you are offering them. One service or product with a very clear result or transformation. And so your content needs one very clear call to action. If you need help implementing what you learn in my content, work with me, buy from me, follow me, whatever it is, just keep it simple and keep it consistent. Your content can come at it from a million different angles, but the call to action is always the same. Everything you're sharing is leading them to one very clear offer. You need at least one to two months of momentum before you see any meaningful results. So if you make one post about your web design services and no one responds, so then you give up, you're never gonna get anywhere. People need to see your call to action multiple times times before they actually take action. Think about what you do when you see a post promoting something. I don't know about you, but I get Instagram ads on my story all the time. Rarely do I ever click on anything the first time I see it, but after the fifth, sixth or seventh time actually seeing this ad, maybe one day they catch me and I'm in the right mood. I'm not busy and so I'm curious enough to click on it. And so if you feel like you're repeating yourself a lot, then you're probably on the right track. And you can switch up your call
call to action and your offers over time. In fact, you probably should do this because your first offer is not gonna be a winner. And so you wanna be flexible and listen to your audience about what they want and so you can change your offers to fit their needs. But you wanna focus on testing and promoting one offer at a time and then talk about it a lot. So step four, create on one platform for one person about one problem once a day. Now don't panic, you do not have to post every single day, but you have to be working on this at least once a day. The key to winning this game is not going viral. The way you win is doing it for the longest time. And so you need a routine to make it sustainable and easy to stay consistent. It's far better to put out two videos a week over six months than it is to try and put out one video every day for 30 days and then quickly burn out and give up. So what you wanna do is put aside a realistic amount of time every single day to be working on this literally schedule it into your calendar otherwise you won't do it and then you want to pick a realistic goal for the number of pieces of content that you're going to make your only goal is to focus on getting out these pieces of content forget about views forget about followers your only measure of success is the number of pieces of content that you finish and put out there this is the only way you're going to get better and improve create on one platform for one person about one problem once a day and repeat I know a lot of you are probably thinking, like my friend here says, this is simple on paper, but if you're making content one month and see zero improvement or results, it's very depressing. It is depressing. If you could see the amount of times that I've almost given up or the months I spent feeling completely lost because nothing was working, trust me, I get it. So let me tell you some of the things that helped me when I've been in that place. The first was learning new skills, taking courses, investing in a coaching session. Don't get me wrong, not every course I've invested in had led to huge breakthroughs or immediate results, but they've always left me feeling motivated and fired up. You get this moment of clarity after you invest in learning new things that pushes you forward and it's been just what I needed in those moments where I just wanted to give up and the second thing I recommend doing is surrounding yourself with people who have the same mission as you it's really hard to keep going especially when the people around you don't really understand what you're trying to do they don't understand why you don't just give up and get a real job or they openly make fun of you for putting yourself out there online it can be really lonely and so having a community of people who get it makes all the difference you can find a lot of these people here on my channel I see you all in my comments. I can sit here and share everything that I know with you for free on this channel, but there are certain things that you can only learn through experience and doing them for yourself. You have to be ready to take action and fail a lot along the way. And this is just something that anyone building any kind of business has to go through. Those people that you look at with 100,000 followers making five figures a month, it's not because they started out with special abilities or skills that the rest of us don't have. They just stuck with it longer and kept at it when everyone else would have given up. Trust me, every single one of these people that you look up to have had those months where nothing was working. But attention is the new currency and once you get it right and build that audience, you will have an automated sales machine. Qualified leads for your business with zero cold outreach and an audience ready to buy whatever you want to sell them. If you stick with it long enough, when everything eventually starts working, you will be absolutely unstoppable. 